My name is Kyle Mitchell, and I play Sinister Man. <laughs> Ooh, season four Sinister Man. Yeah, that's right. So you're kind of recurring through more than one episode? I've been in a few episodes so far, yeah. Oh, they haven't killed you off yet. Not yet. <laughs> no, no. I've, uh, Spoiler pretty, alert. Touch wood, uh, or have they? <laughs> Yeah, Haven plays with the timeline a little bit, too, so you never not quite know about whether mm. your character's stuck around or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so what do you find when you're working on set when you play that kind of role? You don't have quite an identity because they haven't quite given your character a name yet. So what do you kind of look to and view out of your character? Uh, I get to go to some pretty dark places. Oh, yeah? <laughs> um, We're hiding the knives in the drawers? <laughs> that's right. The drawers and backs and uh, everywhere, I guess. Um... It's fun. I I get to be not a nice person um, all day, and it's 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 pretty fun to get to play out some of those darker sides, I guess. Because uh, uh, I would like to think I'm not like that in real life, but uh, just to take some of that na nastiness that you know if somebody cuts you off in traffic, you get to use some of that. Oh yeah, well, I'll use that later. <laughs> you tap right into that, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Just yeah, just stuff like that, and and so I've been given a, a a large amount of freedom because because I haven't been sort of nailed down into one thing, so I'm I'm getting I'm getting to play a few different types of bad, I think. Yeah, can you yeah. tell you kind of any of the actors that you get to work with so far? Uh, 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 Emily Rose uh -huh. and. Uh, 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 so Sinister Man might be hanging out in Audrey's world. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps. Um, she, uh, Colin Ferguson. Uh -huh. um, I guess I'm allowed to say that, right? Uh, Eric Balfour, of course. Yeah. Um, uh, so you're getting to interact with a little bit of everybody. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's been. Yeah, today was a pretty big day for that. So your character is kind of definitely a big part of this season. Then he appears in multiple episodes. He interacts with major major characters. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, that's gotta be fun. It's yeah. It's it's been uh, there's some some interesting twists, which <laughs> which uh, have been nice surprises. For sure. What did you know about Haven before you started working with it this season? Um, it's kind of funny. I uh, I also work on the crew, uh -huh. um, doing grip and electric work, and I've done set deck as well. And so you're pretty intimately familiar with the show. Uh, I'm very familiar with uh, the show and and you know all the crew basically, and and so there was a a, a level of friendship and and trust when I got to set. Um, <laughs> and they cast you in this dark role. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and and everybody kind of looked at me the first day and was like, what are you doing? Why, why aren't you in your work clothes? And I was like, well, I just got this little, this little thing that I'm doing on the show. And so there's been a, a, a lot of support. And, and I get to work with my buds and some <laughs> extremely talented people in, in their area. So yeah. It's, it's Have you been working on Haven since season one? Uh, no. Uh, I moved to Halifax about five years ago, and my first sort of year and a half, I, I wasn't working in TV and film here. Um, I was just sort of taking some some personal time, um, and so I started doing a few different shows in and around Halifax, and um, just sort of through that, uh, I was able to work on, on Haven, doing some locations, and then grip and electric and, and set deck and various different things like that. Well, when you're working behind the scenes, do you guys follow kind of this, what's going on with storylines with the show, or are you kind of more concerned about where everybody's positioned? <laughs> uh, when I'm doing the crew work, uh, because of the acting that I do, I, I do try and follow um, what's going on just so I can give myself an, a bit of an advantage going into scenes. Uh, but. Our days are, are so long, <laughs> usually boom, 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 all day long, uh, you know, 12, 14, 16 hours a day. It's uh, mainly you just want to stay hydrated and <laughs> not get yelled at. <laughs> so when you got cast in this role, did you kind of know exactly who Audrey and Duke and Nathan and everybody were? Uh, yeah, I would like to think I knew, <laughs> but having now worked on the show more intimately, there's some things that... Uh, Surprised? Like, wow, okay, I didn't see that coming. So <laughs> even even somebody who's working on the show is like, hmm. Okay, okay, were these surprises for the fourth season or surprises from the prior seasons? Well, the the, the final episode last season was, was quite a cliffhanger. Uh, Wasn't that crazy? So that that's spun things in a, in a pretty, fun, pretty fun way uh, <laughs> this year, I think. So.
One of the fun things about Haven is one of the most unexpected shows. You really start watching it thinking you know what kind of show it is. Mm -hmm. And about seven episodes later, you're like, maybe I don't know. And then about another seven episodes, you're like, I really don't know. <laughs> and then every season, they've kind of just layered another level of their story on there to the point you're like, I really can't ex figure out what to expect from the show anymore, which is the funnest thing, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. The unexpected viewpoints and reactions and, and, and things that... It, you got to be on your toes, for sure. I've tried to play uh, Sinister Man in a very simple way, mm -hmm. without being over the top, without, ooh, I'm evil, uh, you know, that sort of stuff. So just letting the moments happen and just, just sort of getting rid of all the extraneous physical garbage that sometimes happens. Do you believe I mean, silence speaks louder? I, I think it can. I, I really do. I mean, there's. That, that, I mean, that's my viewpoint. I, I, there's a many different viewpoints, but I, I think. I, I Just because you hope walk in and I don't automatically think I should be threatened by you. <laughs> Something <laughs> can. Hmm. Okay, there might be a dark side here. What's going on? <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's. I guess the. I, you know, I. Because I, I, your I eyes, know. they sparkle. Well, thank you, thank you. So again, I'm like. <laughs> Wow, what did they see when they said, I'm going to cast him as Mrs. Sinister Man? <laughs> there was a, a number of, of people in the audition, and and there were some really interesting uh, dynamics. And I was dying to know, after I found out I got the part, I was dying to know who, who Heavy is, my, my partner in, in crime. And uh, the physical dynamic we have between each other is... is pretty amazing, I think. Uh, I don't know if you've inter interviewed him yet, but uh, it's... We're very, very different, which I think is part of the fun and the comedy and the drama and, and, and just it, it's it's a nice package, I think. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.